Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, it's officially October 1st, which means welcome to Vlogoween. Ah, I'm so excited. If you guys cannot tell, Halloween is my absolute favorite time of the entire year. It is my favorite month. So all month long, I'm gonna try to bring you videos every single day to celebrate vlog -oween. And to start off today's video, we're gonna be ranking my top 10 favorite Halloween palettes. Now I do have 25 palettes sitting in front of me. I do have quite a few honorable mentions to mention in today's video, but I want to show you guys my top 10 favorite Halloween inspired palettes that every time I look at those palettes, I'm like, it's Halloween. So you guys wanna see what those are? Well then definitely keep on watching. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's look. I wanna to try to do as many like Halloween inspired looks as possible. I really hope you guys enjoy my Halloween background. I am obsessed. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but like I actually have like cobwebs up and whatnot, like cobwebs are on this. I do have a video where I show you guys how I went from my fall background to this, which you guys will see coming up next. I also just wanna take a moment to thank every single person who reached out to me this past week when Hurricane Ian hit us. Um, we never lost power thankfully but we did definitely have some flooding there's still a lot of places here in the Orlando Kissimmee area that are still closed because they don't have power and they're still underwater there's still lots of flooding over here a lot of damage had happened here but honestly though my heart is truly with the people of Fort Myers I love Fort Myers so much so to see the devastation there like it seriously broke my heart and um, my thoughts seriously just go with them and their families so I just want to take a moment just to thank you guys for you know all the well wishes and checking up on me and Corey we are safe and uh, my heart, like I said, is just with everybody in South Florida right now. So with that side, guys, we do have 25 palettes to talk about today. I am gonna narrow it down to my top favorite 10 Halloween inspired palettes, but I still wanna show other palettes that do kind of remind me of Halloween or like have some Halloween-esque vibes. So coming in at number 25, we do have the Day of the Dead palette from Milk Cosmetics. Now the only reason why this is even in an honorable mention is because of the name day of the dead <laughs> so number 25 is the day of the dead palette and um this is how the palette looks you can definitely see a skull right here super beautiful and i really did love this palette i think it's super beautiful you can definitely do some creative halloween looks with this it just depends on what you're looking for but it is a very beautiful formula remember this actually went out of stock for quite some time and they did bring it back this past year and everybody was so excited about it so if it's still available definitely go check it out because it is definitely well worth it coming at number four we do also have the milk cosmetics day of the dead palette right here so there's gonna put this one at number 24 it's because we do have some of those like oranges in here like oranges and red and whenever i do think of halloween i think of like oranges purple Bulls, greens, blacks, sometimes red, deep blues, like a lot of deep, bold colors, what I think of for Halloween, particularly around the green, purple, black, uh, orange color scheme. So it kind of fits that just a tad. And when you guys put the two side by side, they make a beautiful skull. So this is the Day of the Dead collection from Milk Cosmetics. So I had to mention it today as an honorable mention. They're also magnetized, so they do kind of like stick together because they're like supposed to be together. And uh, yeah, I know that Day of the Dead occurs. Just so I think it's like November 5th, a couple days after Halloween. And I absolutely do love Day of the Dead. Uh, my, one of my favorite Disney movies is actually Coco. It is like the cutest freaking movie ever. I cry every time I watch that. And I love going to Epcot and celebrating it over in the Mexican Pavilion because it's just, it's just a lot of fun. It's just good times. Okay guys, coming in at number 23, we do have the Makeup Scientist. This is the Sodium Fine Extreme Pigmented Eyeshadow Palette. This was actually gifted to me by Asics. Subscriber. I just think it's so freaking cute. This is from Makeup Scientist Cosmetics. Like, look at how cute, like, the little, like, uh, scientific jar is. And when you open it up, this is how the palette itself looks. So I'm definitely not my favorite palette because we do have pressed glitters in here. And you guys know how I feel about pressed glitters. I'm just not the biggest fan of it. But I just thought it was so cool. It definitely is like a very useful palette in the time, in the month of Halloween or just all around. I just see it and I just think it looks so different. And then when I see it, I get inspired. I'm like, oh, this reminds me of Halloween. And it has like a cute little detachable mirror right here. And I just thought this was a really cute palette. So I definitely wanted to mention it today in an honorable mention. Coming at number 22, we do have Makeup a Murderer. This is the crime scene trace evidence palette. Now, the only reason why this is mentioned today is because it's a crime scene palette. So when you open it up, doesn't 
necessarily scream Halloween, but it does have some Halloween-esque colors. You're gonna have those orange, those purples, those greens, those blacks, those whites. So you can do some sort of like Halloween looks with this. Not fully Halloween for me, but I just wanted to mention it today because it is like a crime scene palette. I did talk about some really fun like horror stories when I did review this palette and this whole collection. Freaking love it, but every time I see it, I do think of Halloween. So that's why I had to mention it today in, in the honorable mention because I just thought that this was such a cool little palette. Coming in at number 21, we do have the Melt Makeup. This is the Waiting Room Palette. This is the Beetlejuice Collection. Now this came out and this came out in November, so it came out after Halloween, but it definitely is a Halloween inspired palette. First, you're gonna have like little Beetle Juice insert right here. Plus you're gonna have very much like Halloween-esque colors. You're gonna have those deep reds, those blacks, those grays. You can create like very beautiful vampiric looks using this palette. Like that's what I think. When I see this palette, I think of like vampires, right? So I think it's really beautiful. It definitely captures the essence of Halloween and it does a great job at capturing the essence of Beetlejuice. I love Beetlejuice. I always watch it in the month of Halloween, just like I watch Hocus Pocus and whatnot. So fantastic movie and this is a really cute collection. And just to answer anyone's questions, I have not seen the new Hocus Pocus 2 movie because technically I'm actually pre-filming this <laughs> because I am doing vlogoween. I want to capture as much content as possible. So I actually am um, pre-filming this. So it's not out yet, but as soon as it's out, oh, I'm going to watch it. So coming at number 20, we do have Lethal Cosmetics. Lethal is dead. This is their collaboration with Teresa is dead. And if you guys did not know, Teresa just launched her second collaboration with Lethal Cosmetics. It's called Teresa is Lethal. And I consider it like the hot older sister. So so beautiful guys i've had the pleasure of swatching it in person and playing with it <sighs> wait till you guys see the review i'm dying to, i'm dying to review this this collection because you guys know how much i love teresa she's a wonderful friend of mine but i'm still waiting for it to come in so as soon as come in as soon as it comes in i'm going to be doing a review for you guys so freaking beautiful but teresa was so kind enough to let me play with it when i went and saw her and i have to mention this palette today as a halloween palette because one it's lethal cosmetics it's teresa is dead she is all about halloween just like i am and this just kind of reminds me of halloween so we have the lethal is dead plus the teresa is lethal and this is how the palette looks right here. This is a very beautiful color scheme in here. You may not necessarily see the Halloween colors in here, but I can because I can create like a very beautiful like like periwinkle blue paired with the green and the purple to create like a beautiful, like almost like alien-esque look, which aliens always remind me of Halloween. So I had to put that today in, in the honorable, I had to put this palette in the honorable mention because it just reminds me of Halloween. It looks like Halloween. It's themed like Halloween, even though she didn't intend it to be that way because she created like an alien vibe. It just reminds me of Halloween and I love it. So I had to mention it. And I want to give a huge congratulations to Teresa for having another beautiful laundry lethal cosmetics. I am so damn proud of her. Okay guys, so coming at number 19 we do have the dreadful palette this is from chaotic cosmetics and it's actually the first palette i ever tried from this brand i got it in a halloween mystery box that chaotic cosmetics did like two years ago and i actually did enjoy this palette so here we do have the dreadful dead palette right here and when you open it up you can definitely see some halloween vibes in here you're gonna have those oranges those blacks those purples those greens, those whites. So you could definitely see some Halloween vibes. Definitely not my favorite Chaotic Cosmetics palette and definitely not my favorite Halloween. It's why it's in the honorable mention. But when I look at it, I do think of Halloween. Coming at number 18, we do have the Chaotic Cosmetics. This is the Brain Wash palette. I played with this last year for Halloween. I love Chaotic Cosmetics. They always do such great Halloween launches. And this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous Halloween palette. So when you open this up, this is how the palette's going to look. Now this may not necessarily look like Halloween to you, but I had so much fun playing with this because again, I can create very like alien-like vibes with this palette. You're gonna have like those muted, you're gonna have those cool tone pastel greens and purples and yellows and oranges. And you have these beautiful, beautiful shimmers right here. They're almost like duochrome, so freaking beautiful. They glide on easily in the eye. And just when I see this, I think of like my Halloween video that I did last year. I think of Halloween when I see this. It's like a Halloween inspired palette from like the brainwash, kind of like a zombie vibe. And it just reminds me of Halloween. Halloween. So it had to be mentioned. So I had to mention it today for the honorable mention. Coming at number 17, we do have the Color Pop. This is the Witching Hour. This is the second palette with the Hocus Pocus collection. And the reason why it's at number 17 is one, I absolutely do love the packaging. It screams Halloween every time I look at it. But two, 
the color scheme isn't the best for me in terms of Halloween and like Hocus Pocus. Like I do enjoy this palette. I just like other ones more. And I think that their third collection did so much better than this one, but you do have those Halloween colors. The purples, the oranges, somewhat green, a little bit of yellow, kind of screams Halloween just a bit, but it's more the packaging that sold me on this more than anything else. So it's why it's mentioned in the honorable mention today because it still has Halloween vibes to it completely. So I could not ignore it because it definitely looks like a Halloween palette. I mean, at number 16, we do have the Hank and Henry. This is the poison palette. So of course I had to do an honorable mention for today because my theme behind me is witches. I love witches. I love witches. I always like, I always like am hot, like a witch for Halloween. I don't know why. I just think it's third. You can make them so freaking pretty. You could do so many looks with like witches and the, the vibes of it is just Halloween for me. And that's what I see when I see this palette right here. First, it's a poison palette. So I have all my poison vials behind me to get my little pretties. <laughs> that did not sound evil at all. <laughs> but when you open it up, you could definitely see some like Halloween S vibes in here. You're going to have those deep greens and purples and kind of like this, like black shade right here and green like you can create a very beautiful witchy look whenever you do this palette it's such a gorgeous palette perfect for the halloween you have the poison vibes and it just reminds me of halloween whenever i look at it i think it's beautiful very beautiful palette really great formula too okay guys so coming in at number 15 we do have the melt cosmetics this is the beetlejuice palette this is the recently deceased one and this came at number 15 because again it is a beetlejuice palette and beetlejuice is halloween for me and when you look at this how could you not think halloween like right it just like really looks really beautiful and then on the inside you do have that really fun colorful insert that i just dropped right on kaya <laughs> but you have those halloween colors like look at those halloween colors of just greens and purples it's beautiful it screams halloween it screams beauty juice i absolutely love the way it looks and the reason why it's not ranked uh, further down the list is because I just feel like there's other Halloween palettes that I'd love just a tad bit more than this one, but definitely is a Halloween palette to me. I think Milk Cosmetics did such a great job with this one. So that's why I came at number 15. Coming at number 14, we do have a Game Beauty right here. This is the Harpinger palette, which by the way, Game Beauty just launched a brand new palette. It's like their cyberpunk palette. You guys can use code Allie to save you guys 10% off your purchase. As soon as that collection comes in, you guys can best believe I'll be reviewing that. It looks so freaking cool, but number 14, we do have the Harbinger palette. Now this actually came out last year for the Halloween time. And I just think that this is such a beautiful palette. First you can have a little Harbinger right there. And then when you guys open it up, here is how the palette looks right here. So you're going to have like those blacks and purples, kind of blues. And I just think that it just reminds me of Halloween. I think the reason why is because I reviewed it in the month of Halloween. It's a Harbinger theme. The outside packaging looks like Halloween to me and they market it as Halloween. And I don't know, I like it. <laughs> so that's why it's not making it in the top 10, but definitely mentioned as an honorable mention for number 14, the Game Beauty Harbinger palette. Okay guys, so this is where it starts to get just a little bit hard because these really start to remind me of Halloween palettes and some of them actually are physical Halloween palettes. So coming in at number 13, we do have the Alien Cosmetics, which is no longer known as Alien Cosmetics. They're known as Unearthly Cosmetics, but this is their not normal palette. And when you guys look at this palette, you guys are just gonna see aliens. That's exactly what I see when I look at this palette. I mean, look at this. Look at that color scheme. It screams aliens. It screams zombies. It screams Halloween because I could do beautiful like zombie and alien inspired looks. I could have created this look using this palette today. I did not. I actually used number one and number two to create this eye look today, which you guys will see at the end. But I just think that it looks like Halloween. I love this so much. Such a beautiful palette. And I just, I want to create like a really fun zombie alien vibes whenever I see this. So it's definitely why it's mentioned today in the honorable mention at number 13. All right, guys, coming at number 12, we do have the Beauty Bay. This is the book of magic. First off, the outside packaging on this is just so beautiful. I'd love to use this. I'd love to show you guys this palette in like a video this month. But when you guys look at the colors from the inside, like it's stunning. It is stunning. I can create like a very beautiful black and purple look, black and blue look. I can like black, blue, purple. Like there's so many different looks I can create using this palette. The Formula Beauty Bay palettes are so damn good. And it just inspires me to create like a witchy vibe. Like I just want to do black and purple together when I see this look, maybe a little bit of blue. And I just get so inspired when I see this palette. It reminds me a lot of Halloween, especially because it's called Book of Magic. And this is just like a beautiful witch palette. Like I feel like this palette belongs in my backdrop because it's just like a witch palette to me. It's so beautiful. So I had to 
to put it in my ranking today. So that's why it's at number 12. Coming in at number 11, we do have the Lunar Beauty. This is the Moonspell Volume 2 palette. Of course, I have to mention Lunar Beauty. They have two Halloween palettes. So this is the second edition right here. And if you guys don't know, you guys can use code Allie to save you guys 10% off over at Lunar Beauty. And ugh, you guys know how much I love Lunar Beauty. But this is the second palette right here. So the reason why it's at number 11 and didn't make it in top 10 because while the shades in here are beautiful, I just found other palettes to be just a tad bit more beautiful in terms of Halloween. Here you're going to have a lot of those purples and pinks, a little bit of red, one black shade, and it is a beautiful, inspiring Halloween palette. Like again, I want to create like really beautiful witchy vibes with this palette, but I just found other palettes to be just a tad bit more Halloween in my opinion. The reason why I came in, the reason why it's a little bit further down the list is because it does have this beautiful packaging that just reminds me so much of like a witch spell book. So it's why it's at number 11, but it's still a really beautiful, beautiful palette. So those are all my honorable mentions. A round of applause for all those palettes who made my honorable mention list, but didn't make it to the top 10, but are still great Halloween inspiring palettes. So with that said, guys, now we're gonna jump into my top 10 favorite Halloween palettes. Every time it's Halloween, I grab these palettes because they just remind me so much of Halloween. They just are everything. So coming at number 10, we do have the ColourPop Gather Around Sisters. This is their very first palette with Hocus. This is their very first collaboration with Hocus Pocus. First off, the outside packaging is the best. Like this was the best outside packaging in terms of the Hocus Pocus collection. But then you guys open up on the inside. Again, details. ColourPop's all about the details. You have the beautiful cauldron. And then we have these little cool tone muted Halloween shades. You're gonna have those purples, those greens, a little bit of orange and those blacks. And I just see Halloween when I see this palette. I see myself putting on like my little like witch's coat and creating a beautiful like witch theme eyeshadow look. Like I loved the video that I did when I played with this collection and it was so much fun. And just, I think of Halloween every time I see this, like this is just Halloween to me. And it's why it's coming in at number 10 because it's not the best, but it definitely is a Halloween palette. Coming in at number nine, we do have Makeup Makeup. Maniacs. This is the Boo Thing palette. I don't know why they called it Boo Thing. They could have just called it the Boo palette because that would have made more sense to me. But I love the outside packaging. This to me is like a Halloween palette. It came out for Halloween and it just screams Halloween vibes. And when you guys open it up, so beautiful. You guys will definitely see those beautiful Halloween colors. You're going to have the blacks, purples, whites, greens, yellows you can create so many different diverse looks with this and it just screams halloween to me even the names in here are halloween and i just absolutely love this palette i believe i created like a candy corn look when i use this palette but it is so fun to me i just get so inspired every time i see this i automatically want to have like nasty candy corn because i can only have a few before i'm like oh too gross and i just want to put on like halloween music decorate my whole apartment and just get really inspired by this palette so that's why it's coming at number nine today because it's still a beautiful halloween palette and i just I think it's great. I think it's great. I don't know if this palette's still around, but if it is, you guys should definitely check this one out. Coming in at number eight, we do have the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette. <sighs> I absolutely love the packaging on this. This is just beautiful and it fits the vibe of my background. But when you look at the inside, you are gonna have those like Halloween colors. You're gonna have those purples, greens, and I'm gonna keep repeating myself every single time. But every time I see this, I think of Halloween. I think of my intro. I love that intro. I also love my intro for the Moonspell Volume 2.
both to me were beautiful intros they brought me so much of halloween and this is just one of those palettes i feel like i could just like leave it open like this and put it on my backdrop and people would think that this is like an actual like prop instead of it being an actual eyeshadow palette and that's just why i love it so much i think many did such a great job with both collections and the first one still just has my heart the most because it's just I don't know. It's just like the coolest freaking palette. I love the packaging on this so, so much. I mean, at number seven, we do have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Haunted Europe palette. Now I reviewed this last year and I told you guys all about like the hauntings in Louisiana, all about vampires. I loved that video so much. And here we have the Nomad palette. First off, look at that. Look at that. Like how freaking cool. Like that is so cool. Like how could I not rank this in my top 10? I love the design on this pack palette. And then you open it up. Hello, we do have those beautiful Halloween inspired colors. Like you may not see all the Halloween colors in here, but you can definitely create very beautiful Halloween looks with like the oranges and the gold and maybe some of the deep blues and purples in here. And the outside packaging just really sold me on this collection so much because of how gorgeous this is. I love it so much. I love the video that I did with this. I love the palette itself. The palette is just the coolest freaking thing. And when I see it, I see Halloween and I definitely think that they did such a phenomenal job with this. And I would definitely, if they ever wanted to collab with me to do like a Halloween palette, oh my God, sign me up. Nomad, I'd be right there. <laughs> Coming in at number six, we do have the Alien Cosmetics, AKA the Unearthly Cosmetics, the Witching Hour palette. This is such a beautiful palette. This is one I didn't really get to show you guys too much last year when I bought it because it did come in towards the end of Halloween and I was so focused on my wedding at that time. But tell me this is not Halloween. Tell me, is that, is that not Halloween? That is Halloween. That is absolutely Halloween. It's so beautiful. It's so creative. It's so fun. And I just freaking love this palette. I just want to create beautiful orange inspired looks with this orange and purple. It's all I want to just put this together, orange and purple with a little witching hour. I want to be like inspired by the packaging. Like that's how I'm inspired by beautiful orange colors in here with the orange shimmers and the greens and the purples. And every time I look at this, I automatically think of Halloween and they get so excited. So that's why I came in today at number six, because it's just it's just a gorgeous Halloween palette. Coming in at number five, we do have the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 palette. Oh my God, guys, I love this palette so much. It is literally Halloween for me. I'm not the biggest fan of like the three girls in here. I feel like they make them look too caricature, too, I mean, too caricature, too cartoony. I'm not the biggest fan of it. But the packaging itself, besides them, is absolutely beautiful. And so is this color scheme. I love like the black aesthetics. I think the black aesthetics on this are so beautiful. But when you open on the inside, this literally screams Halloween to me. Like I love this palette so much. I love the look I created with this palette. It was so fun. Very, very much the best Halloween palette that ColourPop has created, to, in my personal opinion. You'll have those purples, those oranges, those um, greens, the blacks, like you can do so much with this. And like the black and green eye look that I did with this was so fun. It was probably one of my favorites. And I, all of my Halloween looks are my favorites. I'm just going to be <laughs> saying that right now. But it was so fun. And every time I see this, I just get inspired. Just minus their faces. I get inspired and I see Halloween with like the black and green. It is just the prettiest Halloween palette. I think ColourPop did the best with this collection. And that's why I came at number five because it's so beautiful. And it's also called All Hallows Eve. Like how could it not? Coming at number four, we do have the Stroud Cosmetics collaboration with Batty Bean. It's freaking Bats palette. I love this palette so much. This reminds me of Halloween. Even though it's not gonna look like Halloween to you guys, it reminds me of Halloween because when I see this, I somehow think of mummies. I don't know why. I don't know why I think of mummies. I said that last time when I reviewed this palette. I think of like mummies. Like I just want to like, I don't know. So it reminds me of that, that Disney movie Unwrapped, like the mummy and whatnot. I just want to create beautiful like beautiful looks with this like i could do like an alien look with this a zombie look with this i am i think of zombies when i look at i think of mummies when i look at this i don't know why i do it's so weird but i just think of mummies and i just think it's a freaking gorgeous palette very unique one of those color schemes you don't really see often in palettes that's why it has to be ranked in my top five of the halloween palettes because it just looks like halloween from the packaging to the bats to the color scheme you could do so many beautiful looks with this and it's such a gorgeous palette and it also pairs very well with her halloween pal her halloween palette love that one so much so it's why it's mentioned today as number four for my ranking of the halloween palettes Coming in at number three, this is where it got hard for me because I, I literally stared at these three palettes for a hot minute before I narrowed it down. But coming in at number three, we do have the Rebel Rouge Labs Howling For You palette. I love this palette. It is such a fantastic palette. Rebel Rouge Labs is one of those underrated indie brands. They're so good. First off, the outside packaging on this is everything. But when you pull the unicarton away, 
you have another design. Like how freaking amazing is that? So freaking good. And then you open up the palette on the inside. This is Halloween to me. Like I love it. You can create beautiful Halloween looks with this. I love the oranges, the purples, and the greens. That's what this palette's all about. And I just freaking love the theme of this. And this is like such a fun video for me because when I did it, I told you guys the history of Halloween and how it was a Celtic festival and turned into the modern day Halloween that we know today. And it was so fun. I loved doing that video. And I just see this and I think of Halloween. I think I think of Halloween. I think of like all the fun Halloween like Halloween looks I did with this like two years ago. And I love this palette. I just think it's so good. And I think Rebel Rouge Labs should do another Halloween palette because they did so good with the first one. Okay. So so coming in at number two, and it's what I'm wearing on my eye, well, mix of number one, but we do have the Shroud Cosmetics collaboration with Batty Bean. It's the Hollow Bean palette. I love this palette so much. First off, Hollow Bean, Halloween, hello. It is so freaking beautiful. And when you look at the color scheme, I think Batty Bean does such a good job with this palette. Need I say more? need i say more i had the best time reviewing this palette i love the eye look that it created and it just screams halloween to me you're gonna have those beautiful halloween colors i definitely know that this is gonna pair very well with her it's freaking back it's freaking bat palette you can do so much of this palette and it just it is such a gorgeous palette unfortunately it is currently sold out but they are gonna bring it back at the end of this month early october as well so hopefully it'll be back soon but guys this is such a stunning stunning palette you have those duo crumbs in here and i use this shade it's showtime and ghoulish and wicked to create this eye look today i think it's so so beautiful i love it so much and when i look at it i see halloween and i just know that i'm going to keep playing with this palette all month long because it's the perfect halloween palette i love it so much that's why i came at number two coming at number one which really took me by surprise because i didn't know what to expect when reviewing this palette but i fell in love with it but coming in at number one for the best halloween palette in my personal opinion we do have the gourmand girls collaborations with doodle by the bunny the spooked palette this is officially live right now you guys can and use code Allie, which will save you guys 10% off your purchase. But this is like the perfect Halloween palette. First off, you have the packaging, not my favorite packaging, but you do have the packaging with like the black and the orange, and it definitely does shift on the spooked right here with those cobwebs. But when you open the inside, it's such a versatile Halloween palette. Like this is Halloween to me, and it may not look like that, right? It may not look like that. I did not think much of it when I reviewed the palette. But then I realized you could do so much. So you're gonna have those purples, those oranges, those greens, those blacks, those reds, plus all those shimmers in between to create many different like dimensional looks. I actually use the shade Colton right here and the shade Apple Bob right here to complete the eye look with the Hollow Bean palette. And I love this palette. I just think it's so beautiful. I think because you have all those mix of colors, you can create a range of looks in this palette. You can create beautiful like orange and black, purple and black, green and black. You can do purple and green together, purple and orange together, black and red together. You can do white in here. You can create so many different versatile looks with this palette and it's like the perfect Halloween palette because of, because of everything that you can create using this. I wanted a Halloween palette that I can create so many different multiple looks out of it and you would have no idea that it's the same palette. Like I could have technically created this look using this palette if I wanted to do so. Like that is how good this palette is. It's so beautiful and I just think it really complements the Halloween season so much. This palette got me so excited. I love the eye look that I created with this palette. I was so like, wow, this is such a good palette. And it really blew me out of the water because I did not know what to expect when reviewing this palette because I haven't really played with this brand much. So it really took me by surprise and it was just truly incredible. And this was like the funnest palette to play with. So it's why it's coming in today at number one as my top 10 favorite Halloween palettes. So oh this video was so exciting i love halloween so much clearly it is my favorite time of the year and it's so fun to kind of sit back and relax and talk about all my favorite halloween inspired palettes i just have to give a big round of a round of applause to every single brand who made it in today's video thank you guys for creating beautiful halloween inspired palettes i feel like halloween is one of those holidays that like cosmetic brands tend to overlook now a lot of indie brands that celebrate halloween but a lot of the big brands tend to overlook it and i really wish more brands would pay attention to halloween because it really is such a fun holiday and so many people create so many fun fun halloween looks with it or you can just create fun looks using these palettes to begin with like it doesn't have to be halloween but i just want to take a moment to appreciate all these brands who did celebrate halloween and hopefully you guys are ready to see this face every single day in the month of vlog Halloween!
cute. I love saying that. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. I do post. I do post, well, now every day in the month of Halloween. I also want to let you guys know I do have another channel. It's R for Life. You guys, to, you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And of course, the biggest thank you goes to all these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. I have quite a few honorable mentions, but the <sighs> so for no, 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 no. so to start it off, we're gonna be ranking. <laughs> so I do have quite a bit, a few. So I do have quite a bit. So I do have. A so this is coming at number four. This one just beat it by this one. The reason why I put this one at number twenty-five: the greens, the purples, the blue, the greens, the purples, the somewhat green, the batty bean. It's the freaking back palette. Coming at number four, we do have the shroud cosmetics.